It was the early 1900s, a time of prosperity for the nation. And for Bethlehem Steel, it was the beginning of a transformation from a single steel plant into an industrial giant. Steelmaking began here at the Coke ovens, where coal was turned into Coke for the blast furnaces. Coke making got its start in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania uh, in 1912 when we pushed our first Coke with Lehigh Coke Company being the operating arm of the business here. Lehigh Coke was an independent entity separate from Bethlehem Steel that produced the Coke for Charlie Schwab's blast furnaces. And uh, they operated as an independent company until February of 1917 when Bethlehem Steel bought them out. The company was started by two German firms funded by Deutsche Bank. That really was how this plant got its start. Starting at coal handling, we're the, they're the first step in the, the process and, or making of coke. We receive all incoming coals from different mines, primarily West Virginia mines. And I like to uh, refer to it as baking a cake. Um, no matter uh, how good of a baker you have, no matter how fine your ovens are, if you don't put the proper ingredients in and in the proper amounts, the cake will never turn out well. Coke making is a process that turns coal into coke. The coal heats in large ovens for 18 hours or more, reaching final temperatures of about 1900 degrees Fahrenheit. Coking drives off impurities in the coal, leaving the high quality carbon that supports and melts the raw materials in the blast furnace. And the blast furnace is the beginning of the steel making process. Coke making is like nothing else you'll find anywhere in the steel business. We make an awful lot of products in addition to coke, byproducts such as tar, ammonium sulfate, light oil, and sulfur. Those are our principal products. We sell those to various people that turn them into finished products. Anything, like in the case of light oil that goes into making benzene and toluene and xylene, you can find them in paints, you can find them in everyday products like cosmetics and dyes and pantyhose and everything of that sort. Coke making has changed since the early 1900s. Once a dirty operation with few environmental controls, coke making is now a high-tech operation with state-of-the-art equipment to clean and control pollution. Over the past 24 years, uh, when I initially started, I came down to the coke ovens in 72. And it was one heck of a place. It was quite dirty. If you could have seen what, the, what has occurred since 72 to present, you would be amazed. It's, it's just amazing. Now, I've been involved in the bricklaying department since 76 and in labor construction for most of my career at the steel. And there, there's a definite commitment to the community and the area as a whole. Bethlehem has invested well over $60 million in trying to improve the environment for the community and for our employees. We've invested in things like a shed for pushing emissions control a similar type device for pushing emissions control on two and three battery we call a chemical car. In our areas of coal chemicals, we've included a lot of vapor controls so that the noticeable odor that used to exist around coke ovens is no longer there. We've controlled a considerable amount of organics that would be odor producing. And we're now containing them, collecting them, and processing them through our process. Well, a lot, a lot of changes have been made. I, I could vouch for, for that because I live in Hellertown and 33 years ago, when I opened up my back door, I smelled the coke plant. Now I don't do that no more. It's much better. I think the company did a lot for the environment. Uh, I've been working 13 years at Coke Works, and uh, it, the atmosphere, as far as, you know, it's a lot better than what it was years ago. The years ago, the cars used to smell, and the cars are a lot better now. They work on the batteries. The, the lid men, you used to, couldn't even see them years ago. Now it's, it's fairly clean, and uh, it's a good place to work. I've been working in, this, uh, in the coke works for 32 years, but for the last, probably for the last 20 years, I've been a tie chaser. But when I started here, it was really dirty here, really dirty. And then about 15 years ago, I say our place was cleaner now. I think we have a very aware workforce. They're aware of what the regulations are, and they really are trying very hard to comply with all of those regulations. Uh, we've done a lot of training with our employees. We've gone through environmental classes in schools, seminars, many times in the past. 
we keep trying to bring everybody up to speed with the latest in what's going on in our business and in the external regulatory environment. We had a Coke seminar that was put together by the uh, management down here at Coke. We went for a week and they taught us a lot about the business end and the environmental end of it and the impact that it could have on what we're doing and how it could really change things. We went through training programs on spills, leakage of doors, you know, the top of the ovens, you know, and all of that. We, we went through training on that already and proper equipment to wear as far as what our clothing and respirators, we have we're respirator fitted, the type of respirators that we should have in the, the areas that we work in. It's all available to us as long as we use it. I think what you'll see here today, which was different than what it was when this facility got started, is the quality of the work life of the people that are employed here and also the quality of the environment that we're working in. The environment has changed tremendously, not only because of regulations, but because people are more aware of the need to protect the environment and the effect that that has on their community. And there are an awful lot of people that work here at this operation that are from the local community, from Bethlehem, from Allentown, Hellertown, the greater Lehigh Valley. So they are interested in what's happening here and what we do about the environment. That's probably the most noticeable change. I think you'll find the, envi the environment for the employees also has changed. Where we had uh, lesser working conditions in the past, I think you'll see that things have improved to make things better for the people that work here. I think people in the Lehigh Valley have to realize that we definitely have a commitment to the environment. I live in Whitehall and most of the people live in a relatively close proximity to this plant. So we have a self-serving interest to keep this place clean. We, our children and grandchildren are gonna be living in the area. And I think the community as a whole should realize that we are making efforts and strides in keeping this place running, running the way it should run. Not just because of the incentive not paying fines, but we are good citizens. I think Coke making has a very bright future here at Bethlehem. I think as long as everybody pays attention to the uh, points of quality and environment and making the job safe, I think we will have a very long and prosperous future and be able to supply our quality products to our customers for many, many years to come. From its humble beginning in the early 1900s to its sophisticated high-tech operation today, Bethlehem's Coke ovens continue to produce high-quality Coke for our domestic and international customers. Our employees take pride in our history and in our vision for the future.